Greetings students and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are doing chapter practice. This will be the second part uh, of what we started uh, on the last time and we will just jump in here. I'm going to have you do this independently on your own. So you're going to do pages 55, 56, 57, and 58 independently. Uh, if you need some help you may ask an adult but try to do as much as you can on your own. Then, when you have finished, watch the video and come back and uh, we'll look at how to do it together. All right, so go ahead and pause now. All right, very good. Okay, so let's work through this together. Now, again, like yesterday, if you miss something, make sure that if you don't understand how or why you got it wrong, that you have an adult help you so that you're ready to perform well on your assessment because that'll be what your uh, parent will be able to use to make sure that you know that you know what you know, okay? We wanna make sure that you're learning and you're growing, and if there's areas where you're still struggling, we wanna make sure that we can go back and correct that. So here we go. Number nine, draw an arrow to show the position of 862. Well, I know that 862 is going to come after 860, so it's 861, 862. So that's where that's gonna go right there, 862. All right, Mr. Jones has these bills. How much does he have, all right? So a lot to count here. So I've got 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200, 205, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214. So I got 214. Let me double count that just to make sure I got it right. 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200, 205, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214. Okay, I think I got it right. Now use the fewest bills to make the same amount of money. Right, so the fewest amount of bills would be, let's get that two right there. So that's gonna be two hundreds. Let's get that 10 right there. So that's one 10 and then four ones. That is going to be the least amount of bills that you can use, right? And then obviously we would need zero twenties and zero fives. All right, let's turn to page 56. Ms. Garcia saved $380. Mr. Lopez saves $359. Who saves more, Ms. Garcia or Mr. Lopez? Explain your answer. Okay, so let's stack them. So $380, 359 Okay, so compare them. Three and three. Oh, those are the same. Eight and five. Ooh, eight is bigger. So who had 380? Miss Garcia. Okay. So Miss Garcia. Oops. Has more. Or let's actually put saves. Saved more. Because. She has eight in the tens place. While Mr. Lopez only has five. Okay. Because she had more in the tenth place, that means that she has more money. All right. Ms. Diaz saves more than both Mrs. Garcia and Mr. Lopez. She saves 10 bills that make up less than $500. Draw the bills that Ms. Diaz could have saved. Okay? So she needs less than... $500, but she's going to have more than $380, right? 
So there's a lot of ways that she could do this. Uh, but one of the ways that she could do it is she could save four $100 bills. And then she could save six $1 bills. That would equal a total of $406, which is more than what they saved. Now, this answer right here has multiple uh, right answers. So, uh, assuming you probably didn't get the same thing as me, have an adult check it. The only thing it has to be is it has to be more than 380, less than 500, and it has to have 10 bills. Okay, so have an adult check that one. All right, the next one. What is the mistake in the pattern? All right, so we see here, how do we, what do we do here when we go from this one to this one? We subtract 10. Subtract 10. Subtract 10, uh-oh. If we subtracted 10, this one would be a what? This one would be an eight, it would be a nine, okay? So, from 303 to 283, it subtracted 20 instead of 10. And that was the mistake. All right, here we go, next one. Look at this statement. This computer cost $425. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out here to the side, make that a little bit easier for me. $425. It is only $10 more than blank dollars. Max thinks that the missing words are $435. Explain his mistake. So it's only $10 more. So $425. Is ten dollars more than okay, and then Max thinks it's four hundred thirty-five dollars, but four hundred twenty-five isn't more than four hundred thirty-five, and so he's getting confused, and he thinks that four hundred twenty-five is less, is ten dollars less, but it's not. This is supposed to be more, so it should be. $415, and that's what the missing word should be, okay? It should be $415, okay? And one last page. All right, the last one, number 14. In a three-digit number, the value of the digit in the tens place is 31 more than the value of the digit in the ones place. The digit in the tens place is one less than the digit in the hundreds place. Show what is the number, show your work. Okay, so I'm going to use a place value chart here. I'll help this out a little bit. Hundreds, tens, ones. All right, so I need that the value of this number to be 31 more than the value of this number, okay? So to do that, um, well, it couldn't be a, a one, because then anything here, the, the value would only be, this would only be 10, so it would only be between nine and, or between one and 10 more, so that's not it can't be 20, can't be 30, but if I make this a 40, so this is worth 40 now, because it's in the tens place, so it's worth 40, and I make this a nine, 40 minus nine equals 30 
31. Okay? So now this value is 31 more than that value. All right? And then next it says the digit in the tens place is one less than the digit in the hundreds place. So if this is one less, so I would need to do four plus one, and that equals five. And so 549 is the right answer. All right. Well, that's all. Good luck on your independent work and good luck on your upcoming assessment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.